Hi, my name is Margaret McKay, and this is my personal experience story, and I feel it's just better to do a mini story series because this is like two stories that are very similar and have to do with the fact that my mom is weird. Anyway, but I love her. Um, so the first story happened in Tucson. Actually, they both happened in Tucson because Tucson is weird. Um, no offense, but... <laughs> and so the first one happened, we were at Bookman's. If you live in Tucson, you know Bookman's is a used bookstore. So my mom was like in Bookman's. I was in the manga section, of course. My mom was in the crime novel section, of course. And so she like went to the bathroom and then, um... So my mom and I, being the family that we are, if the toilet like doesn't flush, we immediately just, it's not that freaking hard, everyone acts like it's a big deal, you lift the lid, the water in the tank is clean people, and you see if the chain came undone. So my mom was in the bathroom and the toilet wouldn't flush, so she like, being the family we are, we're just like, eh, just lift the lid, see if the chain came undone. So she lifts the lid. And guess what my mom freaking finds in the toilet tank? A copy of the seventh Harry Potter movie on DVD in the case, in the toilet. And so my mom, being my mom, took it out and she, you know, walked up to the counter and was like, hey, I found this in the toilet, would you like it back? And they were like, what the hell is wrong with you? But they were also, so we told them what happened and they're like oh we definitely know who who that is some like little 12 year old boy came in here and he was all pissed because we wouldn't give him a discount so he and he wanted to get that specific movie so he must have like gone and put it in the toilet and um so my mom literally just brought it up to them in a plastic bag and I was like I don't know if you want this back but I here you go and they were just like thanks Ugh. And then the second mini story is my mom and I were at the Tucson Public Library and friggin' my mom comes up to me. <laughs> this is back when I used to get way more embarrassed by this weird stuff my mom does. I can't even, I can't even. My, mind you, my mom's a science teacher and has worked with like every type of kids there is and she can't get grossed out easily. Well, except for if you talk about, if, if I talk about how I got my nose pierced then she will get grossed out but um that's because I'm a child but yeah so my mom came up to me in the Tucson library and was just like whispered to me like hey I just found a piece of poop on the floor and I was like what the f what <laughs> and my mom's like it was not that big of a deal it was in the children's section it probably just fell out of a baby's diaper and I was like well what did you do with it and my mom's like I went to the bathroom and got a paper towel and flushed it down the toilet I'm just like mom why do you keep doing other people's jobs I mean I'm thankful but at the same time I was just like oh my god like I can't take you anywhere like and then the third story is one time we were in Macy's in the in Tucson wow Tucson get your shit together and we were at the Macy's and there we were looking at the teacup section of like all the super fancy porcelain dish sets and my I lifted up a cup, a teacup, and I was like, this better be fake right now. There's no way there's this fat roach in here. And so my mom told me it was actually, because my mom's a science teacher, and she won't let me, she was like, actually, it's a vinegaroon beetle. It's not a cockroach. So, and my mom's motto is, it's mother loves it so I'm not allowed to talk crap about any insect or animal because its mother loves it that is my mom's motto not mine so anyway so my mom being my mom was just like oh look at him and she just like took the teacup up to customer service and was like hey so like I'm not trying to steal this cup in any way but could I just go put him outside like we found this beetle except for I thought it was a roach so I because there were some roaches in Arizona let me tell you and um so they, the lady at customer service literally looked like she was gonna puke and like pass out at the same time. She was just like, <sighs> like we probably could have kept the teacup. That honestly, that was like a super expensive teacup, but that beetle was like boom, boom, boom. And yeah. And the one last quick little mini series is one time 
my mom's eighth grade students double dog dared her to kiss a banana slug on a field trip and she did it and she had slime on her lips for a week and that is whose womb I came out of <laughs> enjoy thanks for watching okay let's see this